what we heard from the judge uh, and, and the family members, um, you know, in their pleas for justice here. Dan, I agree with Joe. And, you know, together we've, we've sat in this chair many times. We've covered a lot of these cases, but this one was particularly horrific and brutal and heartbreaking. I mean, there's victims in every case, but, but this one really was something else. And I think part of the issue with this particular defendant and his family, the, the real public proclamations of innocence, despite overwhelming evidence, um, the case that the defense team presented, which really has defies all logic and credibility and has absolutely nothing to do with the evidence of this case. Uh, you know, I think Judge Newman issued an appropriate sentence because this is someone who, frankly, is a sociopath. And I'll use the judge's own words. This is someone that has a depraved heart, no remorse whatsoever for his actions, even in spite of the overwhelming evidence. That's the term I use, the term Judge Newman used, the avalanche of evidence. I mean, this person was clearly guilty. When we were discussing this case earlier this week and last week, my only question was, is the jury going to deliberate for less than an hour? And it turned out to be an hour and seven minutes. So hearing from those family members, and we'd heard from them before, both during trial and during the bail hearing, just the pain and sadness and sorrow in their voice. And for this defendant to get up there and still say that he was innocent was really just, yep. it was just heartbreaking for me. It really oh. was. So um, I do think this is a fair and just sentence. And to have what you what the judge said, uh, this 